Revelation 2109. From the 11th of October 1941. Worlds will pass away, but God's word will remain. Worlds will pass away and arise, and ever new beings will animate these worlds, and time and again God will convey his word to them, for only through the word will it be made known to them that God created everything and why he created it. But the word of God will never change, it will always be the same word because it always and forever reveals the truth. And the divine word will always be the guideline according to which the beings in the stage of free will must act in order to travel the path of their perfection. The word of God will always show them this path, and the same law will apply for eternity. The law of love which inevitably has to be fulfilled in order to reach God. And this process will take place for eternities, for countless beings still have to walk the path of higher development and countless creations still have to arise for these very beings. And the strength from God will always and forever flow to the beings which animate God's creations. Love will always and forever be active to let forms arise for the still imperfect beings. The light will always and forever fight against darkness and love will mercifully incline towards the imperfect in order to lead it upwards. For countless beings have emerged from the power of evil, and these beings are in greatest need. They already suffer eternities and still have to spend eternities in form before they can enter the kingdom of light. But God's love is boundless and incomprehensible, and it creates seven new possibilities to ease the unredeemed being's fate. He takes care of every being and leads it towards the light. He never tires of caring for the godless. And as soon as the being is in the stage of free will he brings himself to meet it in the word. And even if eternities pass by, the divine word will always be the bond between God and people. The divine word will be the source of strength for the striving spiritual beings. And no power will succeed in destroying the divine word. The word will continue to exist for all eternity, always with the same truth, testifying to love and preaching love, promising grace and dispensing grace, making happy and redeeming and finally leading to God for God protects his word from destruction and time and again brings it to people in all purity as soon as human will has disfigured it. The divine word is truth, and truth remains eternally unchanging. And even if worlds pass away, God's word remains in existence for eternity. Amen.